All right, and it's now time for our last standalone speaking session on the out of home opportunity, a marketer's perspective. And our speaker is Mr. Kaushik Prasad, General Manager, Consumer Marketing, Ford India, marketing and sales leader over 17 years of enriching experience in building brands, new product launches, delivering innovative marketing solutions, and running winning sales operations. Combining strategic mindset with an urgency for execution. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time we put our hands together to welcome Mr. Kaushik Prasad. Hi, uh, good evening everybody, <coughs> you must excuse me, I'm um, suffering from flu, I may cough in between, <coughs> please excuse me. Uh, a lot has been said today about out of home and uh, I was fortunate to hear a large part of the discussion that happened um, in the panel here. Uh, I have a few thoughts to share on outdoor. Okay, so I guess this is what all of us are battling, right? We are all battling for attention. In fact, uh, right now I am battling for your attention. I know you have important phone calls or text messages to respond to and I am battling for your attention, right? This is something that all of us are doing day in and day out. And as marketeer, that's the most important, uh, that's the most important battle that we are fighting. And this creature, I think, is the most famous creature. Uh, and it says that um, our attention spans are less than that of a goldfish, right? <coughs> so if, if, that's what, if that's what we are battling, and um, for out of home, I think this is the half empty glass story. You know, challenges of you know, that is unorganized, that is lack of measurability, lack of digitization, uh, local laws, you know, that pop in. Uh, suddenly, some part of the country will outlaw holdings and then we'll scramble for solutions and, and stuff like that, right? But we still do a lot of outdoors. Why? Because the distributor likes it, deal likes it, CEO likes it. Uh, and the oldest trick in the book is to actually have holdings on the route you know your CEO will take. That's the secret every marketer knows. And um, I've been at the wrong end of that. In our last campaign, the CEO came back and he said, I said, boss, I didn't do it. It was not intentional. But he didn't believe me, right? I mean, that's what it's got to. <clears throat> and because of all these challenges, and like the earlier discussion the panel members were saying, outdoor has almost become like an afterthought. Afterthought, pardon me. The budget outlays for outdoor start looking like this, right? But uh, quite frankly, unfortunately, because of all this data issue, you know, outdoor doesn't have a seat on the table. Uh, you know, people invest in digital, you're investing more and more in digital and other mediums, but unfortunately, outdoor doesn't seem to have a seat on the table. Uh, but I believe <coughs> if the if the greatest marketer of our times today uses outdoor, the medium works, right? So I have no doubts in my mind that this medium works. If the greatest marketer of our times uses it, I'm sure he sees something in it. <coughs> so 
So there is discussion about the half full story, right? Which is, you know, I, I heard some snatches of conversation in the panel that there is measurement that's starting to happen. There is some digital screens that's coming alive in, in parts of the country. Uh, there are conversations of hyper-targeting, there are conversations of, of beacon and all of that. But quite frankly, I think uh, it's, it's all slow burn, right? Because once you have all of this, yeah, good, it's happening, it's happening at its own pace. But you know what, consumers are digitally queued on, I need to invest at least one-fourth of my budget in digital. You now we have heard arguments like this, right? <coughs> uh, we have heard arguments that, you know, data shows blah, blah, blah. What does, you know, where does outdoor fit in? And we've heard arguments of this sort. I think there is an opportunity, quite frankly, to, to reimagine outdoors. And it's, it's not something new. It's been done before, and many brands have done it. And I think it's, I think it's important that, uh, you know, we look at outdoors in that fashion. <coughs> so, what I'm saying is, you know, actually look beyond just a logo cutout to brand cut through. Look at the opportunity to tell the brand story. If reaches are, there is actually an opportunity for exponential reach, R to the power of X. And that's, and that's possible. Uh, it's possible, it's been done, and many brands have done that. Uh, one fine example is this, right? Probably the best, best outdoor in the world. And for people who don't know, uh, can somebody play the video, please? <laughs> A lot of happy customers, I'm sure, and a lot of publicity. So that's R to the power of X, right? It's a simple outdoor and R to the power of X. So it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not difficult, so it's been done. So another fine example is Pepsi Max. Uh, it uses uh, augmented reality to tell uh, the brand story. Uh, you know, I'll probably skip it in the interest of time. <clears throat> uh, for, for people who are not familiar, you can Google it up. Uh, it, it's a very nice one. It clocked about 10 million views and it reached little less than uh, half a billion people. The, the sheer amount of publicity it got through press is, is, was about half a billion people, right? So that's not bad for one bus shelter in London. That's not bad. So uh, the point I'm trying to make is if it was one story of a beer in the earlier example, it's an example of augmented reality in this one. Uh, closer home, it can be, you know, it's not moving. It can be two alphabets, right? Just two alphabets. And this is something that really caught my attention. Uh, of course, they had a very nice product to sell, which is butter chicken, of which I don't consume. But uh, I think it's important that the brand story is able to cut through, not just cut through beyond marketing press, actually go to the media beyond the marketing press, reach to consumers. That's the real power of the idea, the real power of the idea in outdoor. And it, at one level, we can all be happy if it's featured in E4M, AFAQs, adage, blah, blah, blah and pat ourselves, but if it doesn't reach the consumers, I think we have done a pretty shoddy job. <coughs> uh, or it can be a simple dot, right? Uh, this is an example uh, 
from Amsterdam and it won a Cannes. I think I have a, a video for that. I think it was a very interesting example, right? Uh, or it can be a take on, on pop culture, right? And all of us in India are familiar with this. It's probably the longest running outdoor campaign uh, in the country, right? It can be a take on, on pop culture. And the interesting thing is it's, it's, it's almost part of our culture today. You pick up the Hindustan Times, you look for the, the Amul cartoon. Right? And you know, somewhere in the country, there is an out of home with that particular, sorry, with that particular uh, message. Uh, or it could be a record, right? So this is um, the Echo Spot billboard. Uh, I think this is um, in um, Mexico uh, or Brazil, I think. Spain. <coughs> My miss. Uh, it's and uh, I was told, I mean, I, I looked it up, it's some 5,300 square meters, that's some 58,000 square feet. That's like one campaign for us, man, for God's sake, right? And it won, it won it's, a, it's, it's in the Guinness book, right? So this picture actually uh, is, uh, is there for two reasons. One, of course, is to tell about the Guinness record-breaking um, outdoor. And second, of course, uh, it's a shameless plug for the Ford EcoSport. <coughs> so, quite frankly, uh, with the outdoor medium and the internet, I think there is an opportunity for, for reach, for multiplying reach, for actually taking R to the power of X, right? So, in conclusion, all I would say is uh, actually we need to move from logo cutouts to cut through, right? There is an opportunity to tell the brand story, a, a real opportunity to actually do R to the power of X. And the internet and social media gives us the opportunity today. And, and I mean, of course, this has this been told to death by many people, even in the last panel, uh, nothing can be done without a good idea. Right? At the end of it, at the end of the day, fundamentally, uh, I think we need good ideas. And uh, I think one of the comments that was made in the, in the panel discussion was uh, maybe the outdoor guy should be involved right up front in, in, in the briefing process, right? Uh, yeah, that's, if, if that's not being done by, by brand owners, I think it's, an, it's a missed opportunity. Uh, with that, I would, I, would, I would say thank you so much for your patience and listening to me. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your words. I now invite Mr. Suresh Balakrishna, CEO, South Asia and Middle East Kinetic India, to give away the token of appreciation to Mr. Prasad. Thank you. 
Yes, let's have a huge round of applause.